The D-Day landings did not take the Germans completely by surprise. German command were well aware that an invasion was imminent. Allied bombs began falling. The opening bombardment of Omaha Beach caught German shore batteries in the middle of preparing for gunnery practice. Heavy weaponry would make Omaha the deadliest landing on D-Day. Sword would prove to be a relatively smooth landing, with the Germans yielding the beach to British forces with minimum casualties. The German defense at Utah Beach was was compromised by the airborne operations. At Gold Beach began in earnest when the first landing craft dropped their ramps. The moment the metal hit the surf, German machine guns and artillery opened up on the British troops. Elements of the 12th SS Division spotted the invasion fleet anchored off of Juno Beach. Flashes of ships' artillery were coming from various spots. Fast boats with high, white, foamy bow waves were spitting out brown clumps of men on the beach.